Hi, thanks for watching the Drone Labs. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to unlock GeoZones on your phone. That's right, you can unlock GeoZones without your laptop computer. The first thing you need to do to unlock a GeoZone on your phone is to connect to your drone and bring up the DJI Go4 app and find your way to your flight controller serial number. Uh, to do that, go to the three dots in the upper right to bring up your general settings, then make your way down to about. And in that next menu that slides out, scroll down to the bottom and you'll see there the flight controller serial number. This is different from your remote controller serial number. You wanna get the flight control serial number. I've got mine blacked out in the screen, but yours will have a number there. Write that number down and keep it in your drone case or somewhere on your phone because you'll need it every time you want to unlock a GeoZone. Now you can back out of the Go4 app and find your way to your Chrome browser. Go to the DJI FlySafe website and scroll down to the GeoZone map. On the GeoZone map, use the menus to insert your location and your drone model and that will bring up the FlySafe map showing the protected airspace around the area that you want to fly in. Typically the red zones will not allow you to unlock, but the blue and some of the orange and yellow zones will allow you to unlock from your mobile phone. Now that you know what zones are available, Back out of this map and go back to the DJI Mobile FlySafe website and scroll down to the Unlock a Zone button. When you click that, you'll get an error message that the mobile application is not supported, that you'll need to use a desktop computer to unlock the zone. But there's a trick. That is not true. If you want to learn the trick, please scroll down and give us a fist bump, thumbs up on our YouTube channel and hit subscribe so that we can keep producing more videos. So here's the trick. Go to the three dots in the upper right corner to bring down the Chrome menu. And there you'll see towards the bottom is a checkbox for the desktop site. When you click that, it will trick your phone into thinking that you are using a desktop version of the website. And it will allow you to perform the zone unlock. The downside is that the fonts and the layout are not optimized for your phone, so it's going to take a little bit longer to scroll around and find the options that you need. But with patience and this guide, you can get there. So follow along with me, just scroll over to the right and go to the self unlocking section. At this point, you need to make sure that you're logged in to your DJI account. Go up to the upper right and make sure you are logged in. And if you're not, go ahead and do that now. Once you confirm that you're logged in, you can go back to the map screen and scroll down to insert your drone model into the drop down menu. And scroll to the right, and you can enter the area that you're interested in flying. The map loads relatively slowly here. This might be part of the reason why DJI doesn't want this running on mobile phone, but just give it a moment to load and you will see again the airspace zones in your area. When you tap on a location, it will bring up a legend showing the areas that may be available for unlock. Once you select the zone that you want to unlock, scroll down and you'll see an entry for your flight controller serial number. This is where you will enter the number that we got at the beginning of the video. For the dates, the default value starts today and runs for three days. Once you submit, it will take you to a disclaimer page and you'll need to click to accept. And then you're at the next stage of the authorization where you need to check these boxes and click proceed. Now you need to get the authorization code. So insert your phone number and your country location. Agree to the terms and hit send. DJI should send you a text message code within a few seconds. 
then you need to insert that code here and click verify. Once you're verified, you'll see the following screen, unlock successful, and you may think you're done, but you're not. All you've done is unlock that zone in your DJI Cloud account. You still need to get that authorization code imported over to your drone. They don't make it that easy. So back out of your Chrome browser, but before you do so, make sure to go back into your settings and uncheck the desktop site option. Now go back over to your DJI Go 4 app and connect to your drone. Go back into the general settings and scroll down to unlocking license. Here on the unlocking license list, you'll see it's currently set to the app meaning it's linked to your DJI online account, and it's showing the authorization code that you just received from the website. If you don't see it there, click the refresh button. And click import to aircraft. You'll get a confirmation message, and then you can click the aircraft toggle to view the authorization codes that are stored on your aircraft. Then you'll need to click the next toggle to turn on that authorization code. You'll get the following confirmation menu and need to click the check boxes to accept the terms and hit OK. The toggle turns green indicating that that authorization code has been imported to your aircraft and successfully turned on. So that's a lot of steps to get there but it can be done. We got your authorization code downloaded without using a laptop computer and imported over to your drone. If you like the tips, please scroll down, give us a fist bump, thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel so you can get more tips from the Drone Labs. Thanks.